let's see a relay working as an amplifier. Even if we give a low voltage to the control circuit and a high voltage to the load circuit, the low current in the control circuit is able to control the high current in the load circuit. The input of the relay is low and the output of the relay is high, which is nothing but the amplification. And it's just that simple. Relays, vacuum tubes and transistors all are invented to amplify the current, but all of them can be used in creation of logic gates. And those logic gates are the basic building blocks of a computer. Relays were used extensively to perform logical operations in early computers. The first programmable relay computer was built in 1938 by Conrad Hughes, a civil engineering student from Berlin. Dramatically, relays were replaced in computers with vacuum tubes by 1945. Because relays are electromechanical, huge in size, very slow to switch, takes much power and gives more noise. Okay, but how can a relay, which was invented for amplification, be used in creation of logic gates of a computer? Yes, that's a great question. Here in computers, we use relays both as automatic switches and sometimes as amplifiers. There won't be a huge difference between control voltage and load voltage in a computer relay. 